The Misaki class heavy cruiser is a slow but powerful ship equipped with 10 high caliber main guns and lots of AA. The ship is slightly overweight and has stability problems but has a low price for the amount of firepower that it carries and the armor that it boasts. The main role of this ship class is to work alone or with other destroyers to fight deep in the enemy territory. Now that I have summed up the ship's characteristics, let's go over to the building process following the pattern that I explained in my Dodo class destroyer video. The hull of this ship comes from the same source as the Dodo class destroyer. It's from the Dangerous Waters campaign. It was from the Japanese, but I really don't remember the name of the ship. It was a cruiser. So what I did was some slight modifications like uh, changing the weight balance, changing the rudder, changing the propellers, etc. Nothing major was done like in most of my builds, so the hull usually stays pretty simple. The guns I use in the Misaki are new and designed with this ship in mind. They aren't that resistant but have good firepower. A big problem with the gun's placement is that 3 of the 5 turrets are placed right at the bottom of the ship. It doesn't have any double hull on those turrets which can be pretty dangerous. Another thing I must point out is that the middle turret doesn't use the double turret placement technique to prevent it from shooting the forward turret. I only tweaked the failsafe configurations to be stricter and did not have any major issues with it so I think it's fine but still I didn't use that technique. As I said the ship is well armored for a cruiser and the citadel of the ship is protected by a double hull and double even triple deck. The sides of the ship have spaced armor and the ammo slash AI compartments are protected with heavy armor, but there's an issue. The problem with having so much armor is that the ship quickly became overweight and I didn't have much space left for engines etc. So the armor layout affected heavily the ship's top speed, turning speed and overall balance. To counter these issues I added some PIDs and propellers at the bottom which fixed the problem but if damaged, the ship will still have problems with that. The outside of the ship was heavily inspired by the Mogami class cruisers of the Japanese Navy. The main bridge is actually well protected and hosts lots of AA machine guns and detection equipment. The deck of the ship is filled with small AA and in parts medium and heavy AA. Overall, the ship looks quite decent and has good AA armament for its size and cost. It took me a long time to do, but I'm quite happy. In this phase, I focused on improving the main gun's ballistic characteristics and resolving any issues that the ship presented. I also messed around with the AA guns and overall looks of the ship. This was by far the phase which took me the most time to do and also the most boring one. Since most of the time I was just placing down mimics or working on the restrictions of all the guns on the ship. Yes, it was very important, but also the most boring one. So, to sum up, the Misaki class heavy cruiser is a very good addition to my fleet and when paired with some other small ship it becomes a difficult force to deal with. I am overall happy with the final result in terms of looks and fighting capabilities, but I'm especially happy with the cost of the ship. It actually amazed me the cost at which the ship is. I hope you also enjoyed this video. If that's the case, then don't forget to leave a like and share it around with your friends. If you want to see more content like this, then follow me on Twitter to know what's up and subscribe to my channel. I recommend watching the Doro Class Destroyer video since it is similar to this one. That's all for now and see you on the next one.